Hello. So, oopsie is what I'm going to say right now. Um, I did not realize what time it was. I was thinking it was like 10, maybe 11. Get up, get dressed, get ready to go outside, take the dog for a walk, do my thing for the day, right? And I grab an old watch that I was like, oh, I'll put this on. And I was looking at the time and I'm like, oh, it says it's like 12.30, that's so wrong. Like, I, apparently I didn't change this. Like, it's off, I'll, uh, it's an hour ahead, you know, kind of a thing. I'll change it, maybe I didn't change it when the time changed. You know, that kind of deal, right? Right? That's not what happened. So I picked up my phone to check to see what time it was so I could change the watch. And my phone was like 1 p.m. And I was like, bullshit. So I looked at it again. And I pulled up a couple of, pulled up one of my apps. And it's like 1 p.m. And I'm like, ow. And then I looked at the dog and I was like, Then I looked at the dog and I was like, sorry, there was a phone call coming in. I don't want to talk to them. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Let's go outside now. So, like, we're outside walking. And I'm, like, not trying to pull on her too much unless she, like, starts doing weird things. Because, like, I was unintentionally being mean to the dog this morning. Totally did not mean to do that. Come on, baby. Come on. Nope, come on. Come on, you. Good girl. So, yeah, oopsie, that's all I have to say. So, um, we were gonna go for a hike today too, but it's already like in the high 90s and like, I just don't feel like dying and I don't think the dog feels like dying. Come on. So, oops, uh, I'm gonna have to set the alarm couple alarms for tomorrow because I think I'm pretty sure I'd set one for last night for this morning but apparently not come on you there <laughs> she's being so weird but anyway so um yeah uh so I went out to dinner with Mr. Louisiana last night it was weird. Um, definitely did not have that same feeling like it has in the past. I don't know. I think it's because he's a dick and I, like, know it now, so. Pretty girl, you okay? Alright. She's making this weird <laughs> sound. Okay, alright, alright, I guess we're good. Um, so, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not putting, I'm not looking for anybody right now. Every time I try, I find weirdos. Every time I don't try, weirdos find me. I'm just gonna, you know, you know? Come on, what are you doing? There's nothing over there. There's glass and stuff. I don't want you walking through that. We've had this conversation. She doesn't listen. She's like a freaking toddler. Right? Anyway. Uh, yeah. So, you guys can see me and my whole thing. Yay. Uh, yep. So we are, we are just doing our thing this morning. Um, I don't know. We'll probably just end up going back to the house. I'll probably, I do, I couldn't find things yesterday, so I got super frustrated. So I like started cleaning up a little bit more intensely than I have before. So I think I'm going to continue with that because the thing that I was trying to find, I still could not find. I'm so freaking pissed. So, sorry, I was just thinking about something. Um, yeah, anyway, the dog is good, I'm good, everybody's good, uh, getting ready to go see family for a few days, um, they keep telling me they don't know why I'm coming out, because, like, there's nothing to do there, and I'm like, that's exactly why I'm coming out, because there's nothing to do, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think they understand, my thought process here, right, is like, oh look, 
I get to relax with nothing going on. I can go hiking when I want. I can go walking. I can go to a store if I want to. I can I can do I can do whatever I feel like. Like I don't you know, like no responsibilities for twelve days. I'm like perfectly good with that. <laughs> perfectly good with that. So anyway, um, I uh, I need to get a hold of our women's group at work about a couple things, and then um, uh, like I'm trying to like dot all of my I's, cross all my T's, get really get everything ready to go uh, uh, for the for stuff. So um, yeah, uh, yep, and we are I don't know I, I'm. Like I said, oh, Sunday, uh, um, a whole bunch of us from work are all going out. Are all going out. Um, sorry, I was trying to figure out what bug that was. It was a freaking cricket. Uh, for dinner. Wish she'll be nice. Kind of a deal. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's all good. Uh, um, yep. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I'm a little bit like brain just gone a little bit watching the dog eat some grass come on pretty girl yeah the cows aren't even out I mean that's how hot it is too the cows aren't even over here you'd think they would be but like their little pond is like growing over with weeds I feel bad come on you come on come on we've got come on we have water at home. You have treats at home. You want treats? Let's go home and get treats. She's like, shade. So we slow down when we get to the shade. And then we speed up when we get into the sun, sunshine. Because she's like, I don't want to be out there. Because, you know, she's a fluffy dog. And everybody's like, oh my god, I can't believe you on a husky. Like in a place like this where it's like super duper freaking hot. And I'm like, what's the point? I didn't, it's not like I moved here with her. It's not like I took her out of like a cold like snowy environment and moved her here like I adopted her while living here and she was actually down in like closer to Mexico from here like you know what I mean like like the southern part of the state I was like you know this is actually even cooler than where she was at so I um, like don't argue with me <laughs> it's not like I planned this um it's not like I was like oh let's torture a dog because I wouldn't do that. But I'm also not, I also know enough not to shave her down because you can't do that to huskies because it's actually like super bad for them. So we keep her trimmed. Hi, pretty boy. There's Zazu. Hi, baby. He's so pretty. He's such a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Zaz. But we have to stop and pee. Because, you know, we do that. We do that specifically to torture other dogs. Good girl, you go around that mud puddle. We are not going through that nastiness. Good girl. Good girl. She's being very good with mud puddles lately. I know it won't last. I'm expecting any minute for her to go, yay, splash, 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 mud, 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 everywhere. Especially if we go to the doggy park today, which we might do. Um, so, bark, 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 there's Buddy, that's what I call him, and we just walked through another mud puddle, I told you, she's like, she's like attracted to them, I don't know what it is, actually I do, because when I was a kid I was totally attracted to them too, love the way they smish between my toes, it's fun, um, so, ready to go home baby girl, yeah you are, She's like, it is too stupid hot out here, human. Come on, baby. Let's go. She's like, I'm dying. Oh, well, actually, I might be the one who feels like she's dying. I'm like sweating. It's gross. I'm not a huge fan of sweating. Anyway, um, I shall let you all go. I hope you are having a fabulous Wednesday. Hump day. Not for me. Sorry, old Sparta. I mean, it's the hump day of my three days off. I guess. So while most people are like, downhill run to the weekend, woo, I'm like, downhill run to going back to work. So anyway, I will see you guys 
on the flip side tomorrow morning and I do me morning not later not early afternoon uh talk to you later ready peace love you be good out there